Hi, Graydon Gibson here. Today we're going to be performing the enema administration checkoff, and I'm going to start with my COE. So I'm going to check the patient's allergies and check my orders. I'm going to assemble the appropriate supplies and assess my patient. I'm going to wash my hands and don gloves, and I'm going to identify myself and identify the patient using two identifiers. I'm going to provide for privacy, and then I'm going to educate, explain, and evaluate. So the first thing that I want to do is position my patient. They should be lying on their left side with their right knee bent. And this just kind of helps the enema solution flow into the rectum a little bit better. And I'm going to make sure that I drape my patient. I want to cover them up as much as possible. I'm just kind of provide for a little bit more privacy. I'm just exposing the area that I am working with. So next I am going to um, get my enema solution into my bag and um, I'm going to make sure that I have the right type and the right amount um, that the physician has prescribed and I'm also checking to make sure that it's the right temperature. Typically you want it to be between 105 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit and I can check it on my wrist um, just to make sure it's not too hot and not too cold. Um, so then after I do that I'm going to um, allow the solution to fill my tubing. Um, I want to make sure that some of it's coming out the bottom, just checking the patient's the patency. Now, if I had the appropriate supplies, um, this would be a rectal tubing. It would have a clamp on it and it would be connected to the enema um, solution. So before I begin inserting, I'm going to put on my gloves. So since um, these are typically hard plastic and um, I want to make sure that I lubricate the end of this tubing very well, um, before I insert I want to check for any kind of bleeding or hemorrhoids. Um, if there was any present you would not want to insert the enema tubing into the rectum. Um, um, after or Before I insert I want to make sure that I um, elevate the solution bag um, at least 12 to 18 inches above the rectum. So I'm going to um, insert while I'm holding the clamp, um, I want to make sure that if the patient complains of any kind of pain, that I pause for a minute, let him relax, and continue inserting. So once I have it inserted between two to three inches, um, I'm going to unclamp and let the solution slowly flow. And if the patient uh, once again complains of pain or like a feeling of fullness, then I can stop for about um, 30 seconds and um, then I can restart the solution. So um, after all of the solution has flown, then I can reclamp my tubing, pull it out, and there may be some stool present, so I wanna make sure that I just kinda of wipe it down. And I want to make sure that I instruct the patient to um, hold it in as long as possible. Um, that's sometimes a little bit hard for patients, so um, if need be, help them on the bedpan, help them to the bedside commode um, or the bathroom. But I want to instruct them to let a nurse come and um, assess the stool before they flush it. So after I've got them back in bed, just help them um, with hygiene. Then I want to move my gloves and perform hand hygiene. And then I'm going to get them comfortable and just document. Um, I want to document things like the time, the type of the enema solution, how long that uh, the patient was able to hold it in. Um, I want to document the color and consistency of um, what was returned and uh, how the patient tolerated the procedure. Thank you.